When your parents are David and Victoria Beckham and your wife is the daughter of a billionaire, it's hard to know what to do with your life. Brooklyn Beckham is the living embodiment of a Nepo baby, which is described as a notable or powerful person, such as a celebrity or politician, with a parent who is also notable or powerful. Over the span of Brooklyn Beckham's young life, he's had three main pursuits, but Brooklyn's career path actually began with humble beginnings, starting out as a barista in a London coffee shop at the age of 15 working a few hours of the weekend shift for a reported £2.68 per hour. He did this alongside playing in the Arsenal Youth Academy, but left in 2015 after not getting offered a scholarship. After a brief period of working as a barista and not quite bending it like Beckham at the Youth Academy, Brooklyn shifted his focus to modelling, which would seem like a natural progression considering his parents are David and Victoria Bloody Beckham. He would appear on covers for Vogue, New York Times Style and Days Magazine. However, in 2016, at the age of 16, he shifted his focus from being in front of the camera to behind the camera. He took photography as part of his GCSEs, and his dad surprised him with the camera. In the same year of him showing interest in photography, he shot a campaign for Burberry, which left some people in the industry feeling as if they had just been violated. I mean, if you're a photographer and you've been working on your career for years and years, and you lose out on work to a 16-year-old who's just picked up a camera for the first time, it must be pretty jarring. Fashion photographer Chris Floyd stated that Burberry's decision to employ the inexperienced Beckham was a devaluation of photography that showed a lack of respect for hard-working experienced professionals. David and Victoria Beckham represent willpower and graft, especially her. She's climbed that mountain all by herself. They represent hard work, and their 16-year-old son comes along and it's sheer nepotism. He hasn't done it from hard work, which is counterintuitive to what his parents represent. In 2007, Brooklyn announced that he would pursue a photography degree at the Parsons School of Design in New York. However, he failed to complete his first year of the four-year course and subsequently abandoned his degree. He wouldn't give up on his photography dreams that easily though, as in June of the same year, he released his first photography book titled What I See. It would be 304 pages of a series of snapshots of his life, with each chapter apparently telling a different story. But in reality, it was a series of of random photos of him and his family that looked incredibly amateur. A handful of photos leaked online after the book's release, resulting in a mass amount of criticism and memeing, most notably for his image of an elephant that you can't see because of a shadow, which came along with the caption, Elephants in Kenya, so hard to photograph but incredible to see. Other photos include a black and white dinner party that is completely out of focus and just random holiday pictures. Brooklyn's publishers came out and defended the book stating that it reflects the interest of his teenage fan base. Two years after the release of his book, he would become an intern for legendary British photographer Rankin in 2019. However, an insider at Rankin's team stated that during Brooklyn's first week, they were aware that his work needed fine-tuning, but no one knew his knowledge of the simplest task was so off. Everyone had high hopes for him, but it's not the most impressive star. He needed help with the lighting and setting up of the shots. It's basic stuff. Brooklyn's best at pressing the button on the camera. That moves us on to Brooklyn's next career path. In 2021, it was revealed that Brooklyn was going to become a professional chef. Brooklyn apparently found his new passion for cooking during lockdown cooking for his wife. Naturally, this experience in the culinary world landed him his own Facebook cooking series in December 2021, titled Cooking with Brooklyn. The show was essentially eight minutes of Brooklyn watching actual chefs cook with a lead paint stare and him cooking basic recipes for some of his friends. He received a large amount of backlash for the show, mainly because it was revealed that it cost $100,000 per episode and took 62 professionals to create each eight minute episode of his show. Brooklyn responded to the criticism by stating, To be honest, I'm used to the hate. It doesn't really bother me. Cooking makes me happy. I have more important things to worry about than people saying a little bit of rubbish about me. My message to them is keep writing whatever they want to write. There are always going to be people who try and pull you down. I'm doing my thing and working my bum off. So they can keep writing what they want, but it's not going to bother me. I'm just going to keep doing my thing. I guess people's main problem with it is the fact that he has no prior experience 
experience or training in cooking, teaching people how to make dishes. I'm not against simple cooking in the slightest, but this geezer went on a daytime press tour where he showcased a bacon, sausage and egg sandwich. Some of his other specialities include a blowtorch cheese toasty, a sloppy triple cheeseburger and a hash brown bagel. One online commenter stated, The definition of privilege. This waste of space isn't a chef. All of the chefs who spent literally years learning their craft and then this one who literally can't cook a sandwich gets the limelight because of his parents is pretty disgusting. He did the same with his photography career. Didn't put in the hours but got a book deal. I get what this commenter is saying, but it's just nepotism. If your parents are David and Victoria Beckham, you're going to get in good positions. The classic rule always applies above everything. It's not what you know, it's who you know. In August 2022, a TikTok video emerged where a video creator called Daniel Mack asked a man in a $1.2 million McLaren P1 what he did for a living, which turned out to be Brooklyn Beckham. Hey man, what do you do for a living? Your car's awesome. Yeah, Daniel Mack, you seen it? What's up, bro? Um, I'm a chef. You're a chef? Yeah. Really? Are you like the best chef in the world? <laughs> I'm trying to be. What's your chef name? If that, that's a uh, thing. My name is Brooklyn. Okay. <laughs> Any advice people trying to get into like cooking? Yeah. Uh, just follow your passion, whatever makes you happy. Just that's awesome, man. It. Hell yeah, dude. This car is insane. This video went viral and further sparked the Nepo Baby discussion in the internet zeitgeist. One online commenter stated, Born into multi-millionaire family and now married a billionaire's daughter. But he's a chef. In January 2024, Brooklyn teamed up with Uber Eats to launch a two-night pop-up restaurant offering the ultimate takeaway menu. I've teamed up exclusively with Uber Eats so you can order my ultimate takeaway menu. I've been lucky enough to, you know, live in some pretty cool places. I've always been into trying different cuisines. I got my wife on uh, Indian and Chinese takeaway. She's obsessed with it now. I'm making my favorite sandwich, my English breakfast sandwich, which is a dish that my nanny Peggy taught me. You know, that was definitely one of my first moments where I found that I love cooking. My dad and me, we always, we always cook the sandwich. We just have the most fun together. And that's how my nanny Peggy used to make it. No offense to your nan, mate, but she ain't the barometer of what a good sandwich is. It genuinely looks like a bog standard breakfast sandwich. It's almost as bad as watching Jamie Oliver cook Asian food, which, by the way, I made a video about, which you should definitely watch and then subscribe to my YouTube channel because that way I can then hopefully raise my future children to be complete and utter Nepo babies. Anyway, back to the video. The dishes included pork and prawn dumplings, chicken tikka masala, deep fried cauliflower, wagyu spaghetti, and of course his iconic egg bacon and sausage sandwich. However, people were left perplexed when it became almost impossible to order on the app. YouTubers Josh and Archie infiltrated the premises, where it was revealed that the restaurant was simply a dingy ghost kitchen, where the chefs inside were only preparing 50 dishes for the media. We need to go and find out what's happening, so let's just, let's just get in there, let's we're get in there and find in. out, yeah? It's 6.30. I'm quite disappointed, I don't like the fact that we're not gonna get to taste it. I will cook. So, hungry, we set up our hidden cameras and went to meet Brooklyn Beckham. Do you know where the Brooklyn Beckham restaurant is? I think it's done. Astonishingly, nestled amongst 15 other dark kitchens and in what was an Indian takeaway... Are you guys Beckham? Three blokes were cooking all the food that people were ordering from Brooklyn Beckham. I'm Archie from here, fam. We've done 50 dishes to media, yeah. so we had to balance the books with like orders. Oh, so you're going to be closed up but sort of 7 p.m. probably. One more media drop to do. More tomorrow, yeah. Yeah, amazing. Uh, so, with our cameras out, please enjoy our BB BTS. I mean, are you really surprised that Brooklyn wasn't chefing up in the back end of the London ghost kitchen? Not really, but being born as a Nepo baby is an extremely difficult set of circumstances. You are born never needing to work a day in your life, and yet, you need to get a fake job so you can pretend to live up to your parents' reputation. And to be honest, he hasn't really had a failed career at all. In fact, it's arguably been super successful. But how can it not be successful when you have unlimited resources to fund your passion? But at the end of the day, 
Who cares? I mean, we would all be doing a similar sort of thing if we grew up in his shoes. Like any young person, he's just trying to find his way. But it must be a cursed privilege to live a life where anything you do is never going to live up to your parents. Thank you so much for watching this video, it really does mean a lot to me. Make sure to follow me on all of my socials at Fat Mima. Like, subscribe, and comment below what you want to see next.